Good morning, Supercar Sunday, Porsche Marquee Day, brought to you by Porsche Woodland Hills. I'm here with my good friend, Scott Stanley. Good morning, everybody. So I'm gonna tell you about, about, about our history, my history with Scott. Um, we needed a sponsor to be here. Scott just became general manager of Porsche Woodland Hills. That's correct. And uh, we had a great chat. I told him about Supercar Sunday. He said, I wanna be a part of the community. I love the community. Scott and I have incredibly philosophical conversations on life and positivity and happiness and joy and all the good things. I think they wanna see the cars. And I'm going really deep here. <laughs> but the point is- We started our day with, with a tough week and then everybody started talking about their cars. They started talking about uh, how long they've had them, what's on order next. All the uh, Porsche enthusiasts just washes away, just melts it away. And, and I think uh, what we were, we, were, we were trying to, or at least I was trying to convey is that you come out here to Supercar Sunday and you're happy and everybody's smiling and everybody's sharing. And I always say, this is how the world should be. We've got everybody here from all over the world, all, all walks, different backgrounds, all, all walks of life. And uh, you know, this is, uh, this is why we do it, to bring people time. together. Great time, I also like to say thank you to the Howards. So Howard Keys and Howard Tenenbaum, along with Scott, sponsor this wonderful event that brings us all together. And we have to acknowledge the people that support us. So I always say that if you're gonna do something Porsche, service a car, and this is me saying it. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy a car, service a car, you wanna sell a car, trade in a car, you're curious about a car, go to Porsche Woodland Hills, the people that are supporting us, that's very important right here every week because of them. So you always give them first shot. Support those who support you. And the other thing I'd like to say is they do it for the right reasons, from the heart. From the heart. It's all about community and, and working with these guys is an absolute dream. So back to the show. Well, yeah, actually, per, um, you gotta also mention that we're about 60 days away from the new building. We've got a lot of extra cars that are on the way. Wow, really? So we a huge goal this year. We're, we're looking to go up about 20% and, and the new building will help us get there. But it's not about where we rank. It's not about all that. It's about you. It's about being there for the Porsche enthusiasts, especially the local community. Uh, so look us up, uh, April, mid-April. Uh, come come join me there and I'll uh, give you a full tour. So PorscheWoodhills.com and, and I will also extend, because I have such a good relationship with, with Scott, when the building's open, if you want a tour, reach out to me. I'll make time to head over there, introduce you to Scott, take a walk through the building. It's going to be state of the art. Oh, it's, 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 it's incredible. It's, it's indescribable. 200,000 square feet, 36 wow. new bays, a uh, bunch of stuff from, from whether it's classics to electrics, to the newer electrics that are coming out. Again, uh, extra inventory pouring in. It's, it's going to be a phenomenal year. Arguably, it's one of the biggest Porsche stores in North it's America. Gen 5 is what I heard. Uh, and we also just became number one in uh, Tycon sales in the country, which again, it just goes back to, it's not about being number one in the country in that ranking. It's about having enough inventory for you. It's about taking care of the local people. And, and again, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, everybody that I've referred to Scott loves him, loves the team over there. And I, I just, the, the unwavering support they give our community out here every Sunday, getting his team out here is unbelievable. So back to the cars. Back to the cars. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We're having fun. We're having fun. But you know what? The story. The story. So we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of being impromptu. Um, you know, the story is important. People have to realize that. Take me out of it. I mean, it's a lot of work for me and my family, and a lot of dedication every week. But 19 years. But the same thing goes for Scott and his team. You know, he's got a full team out here on a Sunday morning. They get out here 5:36 in the morning. They help me set up. When people leave, they're helping me clean up, including Scott. And that speaks volumes to me when people put in the sweat equity. Um, so that's the story. And we're having a good time and we enjoy it. And we're here and, and you're a Porsche owner. So Absolutely. you live and breathe Porsche. So yep. more cars on the way. And uh, we'll do another video in a little bit. We'll have a lot of content. Thanks again. <laughs> we have fun. All right, so we're back here at Porsche Marquis Day brought to you by Porsche Woodland Hills. And this is the white cab section, apparently. My good friend Daryl brought in his Turbo S. He always has cool cars. And uh, he brought his friends in with a couple other cabs. And uh, you know, the Porsche folks are making their own little sub areas now, apparently, which is fun. What a great car. So we'll do a quick walk around. Let's see what's here. It's 
still very early at the show and cars keep coming in. People love this car. Still super early. Naturally, this speaks my language, being orange and all. But I love this club too. That's beautiful. Look at this. Good grief. That's pretty. So much fun stuff out here. If you want to go to the next tile over, there's parking right in front. Okay. By the tents. Yeah. Turn right and turn right. Hey, how are you? You doing good? I'll never forget that time you let me drive that car. <laughs> that, that sticks out of my mind like you can't believe. You're in the RS6. And I was in the turbo. We got a new RS6. Did you? Yeah. So, so God, probably... Geez, almost 20 years ago, yeah. he when you couldn't have an RX-6, he had an RX-6 and a Turbo. Turbo S? Turbo? Turbo. Heavily modded. Yeah. And we're on a, a private track. <laughs> and he says, let's just line them up and go. And I mean, oh, God, I this has got to be 2004, I think. Something like that. 2004. And that Porsche... It was one of the best times of my life driving his Porsche a couple miles. Uh, his car, it was just disgusting. It was perfect. It was just, I wish I had that car. That, I mean, that car, you dialed that thing in. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it was a fun car. Unbelievable. Always has cool cars. <laughs> Always. Is Dan coming out? No, he winterized. That's what I'm saying. Because that's Dan for you. So another great morning out here. The Porsches keep coming in, along with everybody else. And uh, yeah, that drive in his Porsche was a real treat. Now, the fun part about Supercar Sunday, and I always say we have such variety, is here we are looking at all these beautiful Porsches. And then you turn around, if you need a taxi, we have our own taxi service here. Unbelievable. These guys always pull out something. And it's all smiles. That's the best part. Supercar Sunday is all about smiles and friends and passion. That's what we do. We get anybody and everybody out here. And uh, more fun to come. 
still early out here. Cars rolling in. Get out here. Supercarsunday.com.